Hey guys, today I want to talk about the best gift of all in the Philippines. And it truly is the best gift of all. This morning I woke up and I always walk outside just to check what's going on out there. There's usually a bunch of stuff going on. It's stuff that I don't even have to really talk about. A lot of it is taken care of by either my neighbor, um, my, my girlfriend's brother, or we have two people that we put up in the other house and you know they, they usually help out around the house outside, keeping things clean, doing all types of work or whatever, sweeping, giving the dog water, uh, varnishing the, the um, cabana that we have, things like that. You know, and it, it doesn't cost me a lot to help these people out and help them out once in a while. And you know the greatest part of all is I truly do get paid back in one way or the other. I don't even have to ask for it. It's just kind of there because they know I've helped them in a big way and they're there for me to help me out in a big way. And sometimes I pay them a little bit extra when they do some stuff around the house that's over and above or whatever. But this morning I woke up and I went out there and it was kind of nice because the cement outside, because of the water, the water runs over it outside and it gets kind of green looking. So it gets kind of dingy looking. And we, have a, we bought a pressure washer to wash that. And I went out there this morning, they were out there pressure washing it, washing it and it was just kind of nice to watch that. You know, they, they were really doing a good cleanup job out there and it just kind of helps out. I mean, and then I have my neighbor Pax. Pax is like a blessing in disguise. I mean, I'm telling you, he really is. He's, he's, a, he's a really big blessing to, to our family and to me because Pax, he varnishes the cabana, he cleans the cabana, he cleans outside, he helps us around the house, he helps us with, with all kinds of different things, putting things in. If I need any help with the, with the other expats or something like that, he's always there. He's always there for us. And, and you know, he's probably one of the nicest people that you'll ever meet in the world. He's, a, he's just an outstanding, phenomenal person. And these people are all over the place in the Philippines. Yes, there's people out there that will take advantage of you if you let them take advantage of it. If somebody starts telling, like basically hinting at you to give them money, those are the people you don't want to have in your life. I have, I understand people are poverty stricken and some people don't have the education to understand that you don't do that. But most of the people in my life, they know that I'll take care of them. They know, they don't have to ask. They know that at some point in their life, I'll help them if they need some sort of help. Because you know what? I'm getting all that help from them already. These people help me a lot. And it's a reciprocal thing whereas in some relationships it's not reciprocal okay and those are the type of relationships that don't work so just keep your eye on stuff like that and sometimes you have to talk to people and tell them say hey listen i'm willing to help you but help me out too you know it's it's you know that's a reciprocal thing and it's also somebody was telling me the other day i i, I didn't want to make this into a money thing really because it's really not but sometimes if you give people money to, you, you loan people money it's more like just interchange the word loan with give okay because that's basically what you're doing in the Philippines most people won't pay you back some people will some people will if you get to know somebody really really good uh, just look them in the eye and ask them say you, now you're really gonna pay me back if you know if it's a neighbor or something like that some of them will say yes don't make a lot of money loan small amounts first see if they pay you back don't loan thousands or, or hundreds I'm like 20 or 40 or 50 or something like that. Don't go overboard unless you're, you're, you know, have a lot of money in your pocket and you can, you, you can share some of the wealth or whatever, because you might not get it back. I'm just telling you the truth, the bare facts, you know, but I just want to put it out there that Filipinos are very giving, grateful people. And each island has their own type of personality and stuff. And also you have to remember that pe people's education plays into that and the way that they learn from church, things like that. That plays into it. They're, the way that they were raised, they were ra some people were raised differently than others. And we all know that from coming from the United States. These people have that same issue. They have that same exact issue. So if you come from a bad family background, you don't know about giving and reciprocating. You don't understand that those, those values. They don't, some people don't have that. But you know something, one thing I can say about my girlfriend's family is this, is that when I help them, they help me. With my neighbors, when I help them, they help me. Not everyone, most of them. I mean, I come out in the when I come out in the morning and I see what I seen this morning, that makes me feel good. 
because you know what? I feel loved, they feel loved because I'm taking care of them, they're taking care of me. They're my family. And I'm serious when I say that. You know, family is not just blood. Family is also more than blood. It has to do with those relationships, how strong and tight those relationships are. That's one thing I have over here that I didn't have back home with a lot of my family. And I love my family back home. Don't get me wrong, because I have a lot of close relatives that I'm still very close with even to this day. And there's other ones that I'm not. I've kind of put them in my past. If they want to talk to me, they can talk to me. The door is always open. But as long as they, they don't come back into my life and start becoming toxic, that's the problem. Over here, you know what? I don't find a lot of toxicity over here. The, toxic, the toxicity level in the Philippines is much lower than the US. And I, I've heard a lot of expats over here saying, oh, the Filipino people, this, that, that, you know. Filipino people are the best people in the world. And you can't take that from them because they are. They're the sweetest, kindest people. Do they have gossip, things like that? Sure they do, just like in the US. There's, there's crap that goes on over here just like it does back in the US. And it happens sometimes. It just does. There's a lot of things that happen over here that you might not see because they're talking Tagalog or something. I hear that too sometimes. It just, it's part of the cultures for some, for some reason. But most of the time, you know what? They reel it in and they come back. Most of the time. Not everyone. Sometimes people go overboard over here too. And they can hurt themselves and hurt you. And it happens. Anyway, guys, I just want to talk a little bit about that. God bless, guys. Take care.